on the boundary for providing that audio, even though it's possessed, just attacking side of the centre. There will be a secondary ball up to uh, get underway in this 2010 BFL Grand Final. It started quarter of an hour early. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, I've got no idea. Well, it, uh, the middle looks OK, given the uh, conditions we had at the start of the season, or the start of the day, rather. But it's going to be Hutchinson to take the free kick for the Swans. First opportunity for them to go up to half forward. He's to a contest, holding his ground nicely. And if it wasn't a mark, it was a free kick. And it'll go the way of Ben Roos, and you expect nothing. I think they're both still feeling one another out. If anything, uh, Ballarat look a little bit more nervous. So from the boundary throw in with the roundhouse right, it was uh, Brennan who got the ball down, running onto a Thompson, went to ground. He'll look to try and feed the handball out. Nicely backed up in the left. Picked up by McGuigan, already has a goal. He's wrapped up by a couple of swans there. Ball's dispossessed. It was Baker who got it onto Hutchinson, and Hutchinson Cooley finds Grills. In fact, that's uh, Sam, Sam Harkin. Harkin. It is. Yeah. At half back, he'll just chip wide. And make feeling at the moment that Ballarat are carrying on from where they left off last mm. week and this was always the worry for the Lakers, I think, uh, having that week mm. off. So opportunity for the Swans, but it was uh, Thank you, Hutchinson. Who, now, a free mm. kick, kick further field, down the it? ground. It was Weymouth who got the tap down again. It was Shark by Cunningham. He was dispossessed. Hayes in there for the Lakers as well. Another pack forms just forward to centre. Tagging side for the Lakers. Twelve and a half minutes into this opening term. This is the one that uh, really closed down Jared Edwards last week and was terrific. But uh, just working his way to the front. Brennan got the tap down. And another scrimmage formed right on centre wing. But uh, yeah, Daniel Thompson was the, the one player that really closed down the effectiveness mm. of uh, Jared Edwards. Square out of side of the ground. You go up. Looking that time for Pike, who was caught behind. Now Hutchinson with flair can go out to half forward, and he's got Sam Harkin on. Takes the mark just inside the boundary. Look to square it up. Standing back. I'm not quite sure what that was, but uh, a little bit more coming through the uh, the headphones. I'm not quite sure that it's Bill's fault. We can always blame Bill, though, can't we? <laughs> As Hutchinson forces the ball forward, eventually it emerges with the Lakers. But uh, they're not able to make any... Uh, any grounds of his possession. Garner's there as well for the uh, for the Lakers, but it was Hutchinson who got the ball on the boot, goes up the half forward looking for Nathan Anderson up behind with a good defensive spoil. Webb sees the ball over the boundary line in front of the scoreboard here. At it's to be down at the moment. Mm. That self-belief is again a very awkward kick out of defensive 50 and it's chopped off by Hutchinson. Takes the mark in front of Anderson. He'll just put it up to the hot spot. Anderson got hands to it. Couldn't take the mark. Carey did well, but then again missed his target. Battistello seemed to be spotty. Goes to a contest at half-back. Again, loose ball once more. Harkin, just a little bit more desperation for it. He'll look to release the ball pack forms. About 40 out from the Ballarat goal. And the Lakers, well, they're going to have to do something very soon. So from the boundary throw-in, was Weymouth tapped it down. Nicely sharked by Hutchinson, who's been terrific. Goes up to the uh, half forward. Robbie Gregg dropped what he probably should have taken. Had a little bit of support there that time. And Taylor forced to get the handball out. Good footy at some part of the day. they just got to make sure they're within touch to do so. And at 13 points, they're definitely not out of it. As Weymouth gets the tap that's down, gone. it was that's once gone. again gone. charged that's by gone. Hutchinson. That's a and that's Good decision too by the umpire. Well done by Ben Taylor right in the middle of Eastern Oval. He'll look to go oh. so that we know. That's and ridiculous. Weymouth oh, just the... smacked the ball over the boundary line on the full. So it's going to be Hutchinson in the forward pocket. He tries to bring the ball back across his body. He's gone well across the face of goal. And it's out of bounds on the full. So now all let of off, a sudden let the, off the Lakers. Lake Winderoo. Certainly is. So the Lakers... This time through Roos, kicks long to a contest. A couple of uh, Swans players there. It fell nicely for Hutchinson. Hits it back to Fisher. One way, then the other is Corral. Had to go back to Hutchinson. He just put the ball out in front of him, right up against the boundary line. The Lakers the winner on this occasion, despite it being a ball in. They're just really stifling them across half yeah. of the afternoon. The Lakers retake the lead. 5-3 plays 5-2. Ball back in the middle again. Give that one to Brennan. Hutchinson tried to force his way through, but again, it's going to be the Lakers' numbers. The win out. Malone back on the ground. He gets it on to Foster, and Foster will go out wide again looking for... Well, mm. uh, the Lakers have kicked 4-2 to nothing since then. Yeah, the lead out to 19 points. It's now seven points in favour of the Lakers. Hutchinson trying to force the ball forward. 
Desperate effort by uh, Billy Anderson for the Lakers, but uh, it's the Swans to get the ball up to half at ground level once more, and the Lakers player there just trying to say, now it's holding the ball. Jeez. Now that's Hayden Cartledge on the bottom of that pack. I couldn't see that he could have done anything <laughs> other than lay it, to be perfectly honest. He's the only bloke that made an effort to really try and win the ball. So too. Hutchinson goes to a one on one contest, reading it well was Pring. Took clean possession, was tackled, but still got the hands play. Yeah. Diving forward, Caldo did well. May have it's just uh, scooped that one out to Fisher. Onto the run of Garner, now on to oh, Hutchinson. Oh, and Hutchinson's got Nathan Anderson. He can handle to the outrunner this time. And Jared Hill sets it up from 45 out and kicks a one. The bottom of that pack is McGuigan for the Lakers. He's wrapped up by uh, Gaggle of Swans. Is that the collective? <laughs> Someone will tell us. Oh, well. Swans and geese are similar, are they? Well, you were talking about the goose a little bit earlier. So I was not. Right. So yep. Weymouth again just thumps that one forward, spilling onto it nicely is Hill. You can see Grant goes back to uh, Hutchinson. Hutchinson can only go laterally. Trying to trap the ball as Cameron can't do so. Right up against the boundary line, takes it over. Michael uh, Heath Pike, who got the tap down. A good tackle now. He'll go back with a good second effort. Tried to get it on to Foster. Foster eventually gets it out. Taylor, oh. he was dragged down as he got the kick away. It was off the side of the boot. Couldn't control it. And he's put it over the boundary line and out of bounds on the full. Opportunities in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, he was in tight that time, Heath Pike. So the quick handball to Hutchinson. Hutchinson will chip short where he's got Aaron Nunn. Between the back pocket and half back. Swings the handball over the top. Where he finds Sewell and Sewell. Anderson stops and props. Weymouth in front got hands to it. Well done by Battistello. Just uh, looped the handball over the top. Cartledge was taken down. He was then taken very high. And I think the umpire may have been obscured in terms of his view. He seemed to take one uh, very high. Turn around. around. Yeah, yeah. And had they kicked that, may almost have put uh, the Swans out of the game. But it was Weymouth again. Got it down to Olszewski. Opportunity for Pike. Just high up and under inside 50. Coming across from the side of the pack. Caldo dropped the mark. Bounce off his chest. Pack four. And the Lakers can look to set up once more. Ball in the air once more. It was McMahon that got it down. Hayes did very well. Then he was dragged off the ball. McGuigan just forces the ball forward. Now to open space. All the numbers here with the Swans. Picked up by Caldo. 30 around from their goal. McMahon once more, got it down to Anderson. Billy Anderson wrapped up in a good tackle by Hutchinson. And the umpire once more will elect to ball it up. Just uh, only a little bit more time, 19 points. Braddock being asked to kick uh, more now in what's remaining of the game than they have all day. So ball back in the middle once more. Weymouth was terrific, nicely sharked by Hutchinson. Opportunity this time for Fisher. Drives it inside 50, a little too long for Harkin that time. It'll be Carriger. He'll get back, take clean position right for the play. Lakers. Did very well. He'll just loop the handball to Page once more. Back to Olszewski. Oh. He's turned it over to Hutchinson. And Hutchinson managed to get it on to Brad Anderson. Anderson keeps it low, but can't get it past oh. Old Source. They look a bit nervous about the ball going their way. So Nathan Pring kicked two very late goals in that third term as his third for the afternoon. But it's Hutchinson who will get the clearance. Goes up looking for Anderson. Well done by Webb. Just worked his opponent out. Roos can get it back onto Murphy. Murphy will just chip short. And he finds Battistella's hands. And through for a minor score. And two goals one to two goals one. We're back where we started. 33 points at three-quarter time. 33 points now. Foster just hands off nicely to Weymouth. Weymouth brings the ball inside 50. It's a little too long for the... Ten minutes being out there together, they'll remember forever. We'll even give them 20. Because we're only 11, in fact, just uh, <laughs> ticked into 12 minutes. But Foster again on to Tyler. Now they got the run through Cartledge. He'll load up from outside 50. Kicks looking for McMahon! Well done by Thompson. Got it on to Baker. No fairy tale for Baker this afternoon. Took a bounce. Got it on to Hutchinson. This time back to Baker. Had to arch the back. Got it on to Allen. Back this time to Hutchinson, still defensive side of centre. Loads it up, looking for Mark Nunn. Went for the chest mark, probably should have gone with the hands. Now the Lakers can clear off defensive 50. And just the chip pass is good. And it finds Heath. Yeah, without using the corridor, mm. that has been the problem for them. So Weymouth back in the ruck up against Anderson. Got it down to Webb. He's ramped up in a tackle pretty much immediately. And again, there will be another bounce. 
will square the ball up looking for Baker and a true centre half back. Baker will take the mark. Wheel around on the left boot and he's got Hutchinson wide. Takes the mark unopposed. Gets on the boot very quickly. And he puts it up nicely for Proctor. Back to Hutchinson. Hutchinson just puts the ball on the boot. Goes to the top of the square. Opportunity for Nathan Anderson. And swung it goalwards from about five metres out. For the Swans to clear off half back. From Cunningham to Mark Nunn. Back to Cunningham through the middle of the ground. Now an opportunity for Hutchinson. Drives the ball inside 50. But it was uh, well done by Ty Murphy. Been Not really the defensive. Solid. He has today. And that's the great thing about the Lakewind Road back six. If 